episode of SRC Paradise. Have you ever just had one of those days where everything breaks and everything goes wrong? Uh, I just had one of those bash sessions. Yesterday, um, it, in the last video, uh, I had a lot of crashes. I left most of them out of the video because they were, it was just ridiculous. I've never crashed that many times uh, in a single run. And um, I, I think a lot of it was to do with you know the new Arma motor, the BLX. Um, 2050 kV motor and the new gearing just getting used to it it had a totally different driving sensation so I flipped when I flipped I crashed a lot uh, cartwheels for days landings uh, like nose darting you know from like 25 foot long jumps that were like 10 feet high you know amazingly I didn't bring anything except one shock eye yesterday and today though I think all the all the stressing of the parts yesterday basically showed up today, right? I started to have like just seemingly uh, easy tumbles that shouldn't have broken anything, and then bang, you know, I broke something. So, uh, I'm gonna show you what broke, and we're gonna fix it. Stick around. I broke that steering block in there. So here, I'll, I'll show you better. We'll just take the wheel off. All right, so here, here you can see, oops, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so here you can see, it broke right there, right? Broke right there. So that was uh, that was a total failure. Obviously, I couldn't continue the run, so that was a bummer. Not a problem though, because now I do have these on hand. Yeah, steering blocks. Um, remember a couple videos back, guys, I ordered these and I said at the time, you know, I'm not going to install them just yet. I'm going to wait until something breaks. And sure enough, it broke. We're good to go, though. We've got these. I've got these on hand. They are part number 505-235-TI. I think that's an I. 505-235-TI, CNC machine steering blocks. And they come in a, a pair like this. Also... Uh, I have these machine aluminum machined uh, pivot ball mounts that go with those. All right, guys, these uh these machined uh, CNC steering blocks are absolutely gorgeous from Red Cat Racing Team Red Cat. They are just <laughs> gorgeous, and they're super lightweight because you know they look they're beefy, but it's they're deceptively light. I don't have a digital scale or something that would be sensitive enough to weigh these, but they feel like very light. I don't know if they're heavier than the ones that come on here. It's just negligible, like a very small, very, very, very small amount. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm disassembling uh, to get this uh, turn turn block out. And the way that I'm going to do it, <clears throat> I've seen some tutorials online, and I think um, I'm going to try a slightly different way uh, in that what I did was I, <clears throat> uh, I started with these pillow ball, shock, or pillow ball retainers, right? They go in there, <clears throat> excuse me, they go in there like that, and they've got, they're held in by these little Allen screws, like so, right? So... The order in which I'm removing these is I'm taking the Allen screws out first, then you can pull these out, these pillow ball retaining cups. Um, you can pull the plastic ones out easily with a pair of needle nose pliers without damaging them. That's what I did. First, you unscrew, the pillow ball retainer is held in by an Allen screw right there, right? So you unscrew that. Then you can either choose to use like needle nose pliers and pull it out. Uh, and then I'll show you that method. So then you pull it out and then inside, this is all still attached to the car inside. You'll be able to see the, the actual, uh, pillow ball, right? So on the end of the pillow ball, you'll notice, notice there's, there's an Allen, uh, it's, it's an Allen screw, right? I think it's three millimeter. So <clears throat> at that point, you know, remember this is all still attached to the car. Right, it's all still in there. At that point, you can unscrew that with your your Allen screwdriver or your Allen Allen wrench, right, and get it out. And then it, 
it just comes right out. I just pulled this whole unit out and uh, rather than you know like leaving it semi screwed in there and having to work in a confined workspace, I think this is going to be much easier to access. So now that you got the whole unit out, then you can begin disassembly, and you don't have to worry about you know A arms and shock towers and you know other stuff being in your way. I got the uh, broken steering block taken apart, disassembled, and <clears throat> now I've got. I gotta say, I, the more I familiarize myself with the BE6S, the more you know, the more I do repairs and work on it mechanically speaking. Which, by the way, guys, this thing is so durable in my opinion. Yes, I am having to, <clears throat> you know, I, I am having some breakages here and there, but I, I'm not that good of a driver, and I bash this thing pretty hard. Um, I, I can't blame the car. I. I I am amazed more and more at the engineering of it. I think it's I think it's absolutely fantastic. Okay guys, so I put the new bearings or the the bearings, the clean bearings, my existing bearings back into the new uh turnbuckle, machine turnbuckle. And they're awesome. Spinning freely, they're clean. I sprayed them with just like um it's kind of like WD-40. It's a silicone, uh, all-purpose lubricant, all-purpose silicone. I think I got it at Home Depot. So, all right. So that's in. The bearings are in. Just double-checking everything. All right. Now, uh, reassembly. So there are these two little... I'm going to put the shaft back in. Okay, that just slides in like that. There are two little spacers. It's interesting, there were two on the front, but there wasn't one on the back. I I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, got it, caught it. I'm just gonna slide them back in like they're, like, a, like they were as I disassembled, just reversing the process. Okay, two little like shims on the front side. Now, Oops, now I'm just gonna put this guy back in there. <clears throat> nice, so that lines up. Okay, and we got this pin that slides in there. It's just, you see guys, it's a pin that slides in there to hold that on, and then it's like an Allen screw. So, just slide that guy in there. There we go. Just like make sure everything's lined up. Yeah, okay guys. So I got oop, I'm about to install uh the drive shaft again. So you just take this little pin, I guess I should wear my gloves because I'm kinda getting you will get a little bit greasy doing this. But uh Got the pin there. There's the drive shaft. Put it in there like that. It really just like falls right in place. And I'm holding one of the holes, the bottom hole with my thumb so it doesn't come out. Then uh, you take, so this is fine. So this tool came with the BE6S and I, and I never knew what it was at first. I just you know saved it in the box. Well, now I know it's like a spring retention or a retention spring spreader right that's what these little um needles are for these little pins so it just goes in there like that and those little holes on that clip i'm gonna have to there we go hold the bottom so the pin doesn't fall out so it just goes in there this is kind of a pain and then you gotta carefully pinch it spread it just enough and there you go pops right in there you go, done. Now, okay there, done. We're good. All right guys, there you have it. 
the reinstalled uh, machine steering block on the BE6S. There it is. It's a thing of beauty. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the uh, put the wheel back on, and then I left just a little bit of threads showing both on the top and bottom <clears throat> on my um, uh, pillow balls, so I can adjust them. You know, adjust the the wheel, the uh, the cam I guess the camber adjustment like that. Hey guys, that'll do it. Uh, the install of the uh, machined uh, Timur Keb E6 uh, turn buckle is complete. Um, I only did one today. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought, plus I had interruptions that uh, it kind of made it drag on. So uh, for now, I just replaced the one that was broken. Uh, it was the right rear side for me that was broken, but I've got the other one right here. Um, I'll probably replace you know, the left rear soon. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and order another pair for the front. Uh, these things are just awesome. So I hope you found this informative. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stick around. I've got uh, more, more upgrades and more things to come. Cheers. Thanks for watching. <laughs>